Look, guys, we have your main event coming up right now. Here's the deal with the main event. It's a little bit different. These guys are going to do three rounds. The first round is going to be tit for tat. Second round is going to be 30 seconds each straight through. And then the third round is going to be tit for tat as well. Um, ladies and gentlemen, keep the energy live. Are you guys ready for your final battle of the night? Come on. Come on. First battler, you guys might know him from his half-hour special on Comedy Central. Ladies and gentlemen, clap it up a slide. cut for Noah Gordon Schwartz. Let him hear it. And his competition also has a half-hour special on Comedy Central. Very funny comedian. Clap it up a slide. cut for Louis Katz. Wow. Broadway Danny Louie. Okay, so uh, Louie, I'm going to have you call it in the air. Louie. Calling there? Yeah. Heads. Tails. Noah, do you want to go first or defer? Okay, you're going to defer. Louis, Louis Katz, Noah Gordon Schwartz, three rounds. What? Give him back his quarter. <laughs> One Jew looking out for another Jew. I, I, I even got Ben Bailey to laugh. <laughs> Fuck, that was funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're going first. No, I'm sorry. Louis's going, going first. You're fucking up now. Suck this is it. Host. You suck. Guys, guys, guys. I'm trying to watch the Jewish version of Twins. <laughs> Louis Katz, Noah Garden Schwartz, three rounds, main event. Let's rest. Noah, you matzah gobbling Hebrew half tart. <laughs> I love you because you defy all the stereotypes. You prove that not all Jews are short or bald or smart or funny. <laughs> you only prove two of those things. Uh, Louis has been doing comedy for 15 years and still can't get booked as a headliner. He looks like Rick Moranis in Honey, I Shrunk the Gigs. <laughs> uh, Noah's parents raised him Orthodox Jewish, and he's going to raise his kids Orthodox Wigger. Yeah. Every Friday night, they're going to light the Swishers and recite Eminem's first album. God willing, God willing. When Louis' career stalled a few years ago, his agent blamed it on the recession and he was talking about his hairline. The only spot Louis can count on is the bald spot on the back of his head. Uh, Noah, Noah had an interesting upbringing. Uh, his dad was an accountant uh, and his mom was Andre the Giant. Louis was uh, worried about Rose battling because he didn't want to be a target, which is ironic because he dresses like that's where he goes back to school shopping. That's Penguin. That's Penguin. That's a nice shirt. It's from Penguin. <laughs> Noah loved uh, rap music when he, was, when he was a kid, but when his dad heard him listening to it, he'd be like, no more rhymes and I mean it. And then his mom would be like, anybody want a peanut? <laughs> Princess Bride, stupid. You saw it. Uh, I didn't see it. I'll watch it. <laughs> Louis lives in a beautiful one-bedroom apartment that he got by winning a New York low-income housing lottery. So whether he's on stage or at home, he's always taking spots for more deserving minorities. That's funny. Round one, clap it up for both these guys. Come on, guys. Robert Kelly. Yeah, well, uh, I, first of all, I liked that the whole tone switched up, yeah. but it was still funny. Yeah. It wasn't as fucked up and mean, yeah. but it was yeah. still a different type of fucked up and mean. I love when comics say other comics' careers stall. <laughs> like he had shit going on. 
at all. Like <laughs> nobody's ever said your name. <laughs> It was, I think, uh, very funny. Both so far. Do I have to pick one right now? Yeah, pick who wins I'm, this round. I'm, it's a three rounder, maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go to uh, Louis. I love you, buddy. I, I do, but I'm gonna have to go with this guy. No, yeah, it's, whatever no, his it takes name it. is. Noah. 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 <laughs> you know what? I don't like your name. I like Louis. No, you. No, I. No. Bobby Kelly funny. votes for Noah Gordon yeah, Schwartz. Yeah, very funny though, Louis. Really. Both Ron Bennington, what do you think? I wanted to see more aggression. I think uh, you guys. Kind of proved why Palestine is still around today. <laughs> I'll give it to Louis. Louis gets a vote by Ron Bennington. Mike Lawrence, what do you think? I just want to see Louis climb up on Noah's shoulders like some Yiddish master blaster. Uh, <laughs> You're what he hulks out into. Uh, <laughs> now I like. I think this is a fucking great way to end the night. It's laid back. It's fucking fun. There, you know. Um, I would say Noah just edged him out a little bit. Uh, give right, it Noah up. gets two votes. Big J, what do you think? Noah, is that is that Christy Cello's uh, lucky hoodie? <laughs> wow. Good job, Bobby. That's why you're Bobby over there and I'm up here. <laughs> At least I wrote it and bombed with it, you asshole. <laughs> Hey, 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 come on. I want you to I want you two to bear hug. Big J, what do you think? Um that was was fucking hilarious, guys. It really is funny though, when as soon as everybody starts, how vicious that shit was before. Right away you're just like, no one's mom got raped or nothing. You can't like <laughs> you can talk about career stall yeah. here. I mean someone had to have been raped and he knows. And we're just like, oh no, they're just being funny about like normal, not fucking viciously. Um, unrepentable things. Yeah. Uh, this it, one I give to Noah. It All was right. literally like your fucking dad's dead to you're slowly losing your hair in your <laughs> late 30s. <laughs> <laughs> Time is having a normal effect on you. <laughs> it's called being raised well by Jewish parents. That's what that's called. Noah <laughs> takes round one. Final feedback from Rich Voss. I gotta agree. I think they, uh, they both the writing was great. The charisma was like, you know, of cancer. Uh... <laughs> Louis couldn't be any more Jewy. Uh, as a Jew, I feel Italian looking at him. Uh, but both of them, both of them had. It was great writing. It really was. I can't see them in a club, but I could see them in a cubicle somewhere, <laughs> writing for like True TV or something. <laughs> It does, it does feel totally his That's job. what he does. <laughs> he really does that. I wrote for the show you lost on. You don't remember? That was good. That was good. When I've done so many. <laughs> You've lost on so many shows? <laughs> We're talking about TV now, Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> Round two. Lewis thinks YouTube is TV. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we gotta go back to watching this NBA pl player battle his sports agent. <laughs> that that would have been funny if you didn't stutter all the way through it. Wait, Where? you're judging my speech impediment, That's asshole? Right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Fuck you, Schindler's Lisp. Why is he leaving? Round two. Where the fuck is he going? Schind he's Schindler's on. list was too far. Yeah, he's, he's backpacking through yeah. the club. He's heading off the skateboard his way back to Brooklyn. <laughs> Round two. It's going to be 30 seconds straight through. Louis went first last time. Noah, you're going first this time. Ladies and gentlemen, round two. Let's roast. <laughs> Louis's last name is Katz, which is appropriate because he's a pussy. And much like the Broadway play, all of his shows have been canceled. <laughs> Louis's last name is Katz, which is appropriate because much like the deli, his shows are overpriced and full of whiny Jews. <laughs> Louis looks like if the main character from A Bug's Life celebrates Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> I've never met someone who so clearly embodies an asthma attack. But I would like to thank Louie for taking time out of his busy schedule of being the white guy in every interracial cuckold porn on the internet to come and battle tonight. 
All right. <laughs> Noah's known for having a lot of one-night stands with black women. He comes and weaves. <laughs> Noah wishes he was black so bad, he spread shea butter on his bagels. Noah wishes he was black so bad, he calls Manischewitz purple drink. <laughs> Noah wishes he was black so bad, he puts on a police uniform before beating himself. <laughs> then right before he comes into his own mouth, he says, hands up, don't shoot. <laughs> Look how happy he is. One more time for Louis Katz. Oh. Noah Garden Schwartz. What a round. Let's go to Mr. Rich Voss. Louis, if this doesn't work out, can you help me with my taxes? <laughs> he came out with great ones. His, you came out. You know, I'm going to give this one to Louis uh, only because, you know. <laughs> Too. Yeah, but he, you know what I mean. He, <laughs> walking down the street, fucking the Aryan Brotherhood isn't throwing things at him. Robert Kelly, what do you think? Jesus Christ. So he's Jew here? Well, he's, he's, saying, fucking... yeah, he's saying Noah can pass if he had to. <laughs> he can pass. <laughs> Did you Bob Kelly, have... what do you think? Did Jews not have dimples? <laughs> Uh, Jews don't have dimples, right? Uh, I, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna give it to Louis this time. Both of you guys are great, and I was a little nervous for Louis. I thought you were a little on tilt after his rant, oh, nah. but you shut up with your hands. Get him away. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with Louis. Louis won that one. All right, thank you. If it was, if it, if it was World War II, it would be six million and one. Oh, fuck. Let's go with Big J Okerson. Oh, what do you think here, buddy? Um, fantastic, fellas. Uh, <laughs> I kind of sympathize in the world more of Noah as like a Jewish guy that no one ever thinks is Jewish, right? You like rap music, right? Fucking black chicks, you'll have to tell me about that. <laughs> I want to hear all about it slow. Um, Louis, killer jokes. Your fucking hand was violently shaking. I was it, terrified. They always for you. shake. It was the Jewiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> It drew my mind. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give that one to uh, Noah. Noah, also. Noah, Noah takes it in Big J's mind. Let's go over to Mike Lawrence. Well, only one looks like Woody Allen, but they both look like they'd fuck Asian teenagers. Uh, oh, sure. uh, <laughs> she not, never made it to her teen years. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get to have your say soon, ye. Soon. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Louie fucking came back swinging in those... I mean, both of you guys are great, but the fucking jokes were so clever. That Manischewitz thing was fucking brilliant. Purple yeah. drink. Purple drink. Louie takes round two. Yeah. Final feedback from Ron Bennington. I was just saying this. I mean, it was really... Uh, both you guys were great. But for Louie, I have the rights... For the live action, Fievel Goes West. And I love that. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Ari oh Shafir joins God, us. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. So many Jews. Wait, wait, wait. Did the, the two battlers combine into one person? <laughs> <laughs> the prodigal son. You guys okay? You guys all right? <laughs> it's Voltron Steen. <laughs> you have a quarter for Lewis? <laughs> Ari was dressed like he's going to wander off in the desert for 40 years. <laughs> Ron Bennington, final thoughts? Uh, yeah, they both won. I don't know. Who already won this? Yeah, uh, Louis, Louis won that round. Okay, we have one so round apiece right now. All right, so let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it, round guys. Three. Final round. Clap your hands. Come on. Come on, guys. Battle, 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 battle. Louis went first. Louis's going first this time. Uh, Noah's Christ. going first. Uh, second this time. Tip for tat. <laughs> I can't speak anymore. I'm done. Let's rush. Uh, Noah, uh, Noah went through a, um, a pretty serious personal tragedy a while back. Um, his mom got body slammed by Hulk Hogan. And 
they said it couldn't be done. She never wrestled again. It was rough. That's it? You done? That's it. It's right. funny. <laughs> Just to make sure. Louie was supposed to be on 50 Cent's sketch comedy show, which shockingly didn't get picked up. <laughs> Louis has more failed pilots than special ed classes at the Air Force Academy. All right. Which one? Oh. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Noah's parents are super religious Jews, which is something I understand and respect, which is why I would only fuck his mother through, through a hole in the sheet. Oh, I can't believe I didn't land You'd have that to one. travel Jesus back Christ. in time eight years and dig six feet underground to do it, but that's fine. <laughs> that joke took place when she was alive. I was, I mean, no disrespect. I have... fucking. <laughs> fucking her when she was alive, and I wouldn't do that. Louis, this was back then. I have a alive. shovel in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Louis' first album was called If These Balls Could Talk. And if his balls could talk, I think they'd agree with his mom and tell him he should have gone to law school. Uh, Noah recorded his album here at The Stand, uh, the best club in the city when you can't get past at the comedy cellar. Boy, this is really falling apart. <laughs> yeah, it went from feeling like Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur. <laughs> This Louie also had a show on FX. You may have heard the theme song, Jewy, 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 Jewy. No, but actually, he was on Totally Biased, which is also how I would refer to any of his friends and family who find him funny. Here we go. Noah has a tattoo above his pubes that says, true to myself in Hebrew, which means he can't be buried in a Jewish cemetery. Not because of the tattoo, but because God hates fags. <laughs> Louis is such a deli-eating Jew, he's actually only dating his girlfriend because her last name is Reuben. Now, to be clear, her full name is Reuben Long, which means she has two things he wishes he had, a sandwich and length. <laughs> how, how do you know about his tattoo above his cock? Uh, it's on his album. What's that? It's on his album. Oh. <laughs> what are you CSIing the fucking jokes? <laughs> Big J Okerson, what do you think here? That was uh, awesome, also. Great job, Jews. Uh, <laughs> It's the Jewiest roast I've ever been a part of. I wouldn't have guessed it was going to be 100% Jew shit. Hey, bagel biter, fucking Hanuk Hanukkah cock, your Hanukkah cock mom. Uh, this round, I'd say, goes to uh, my buddy Louie over there. I think he killed him on that one. Louie Katz takes it, Thank and you. Big J's edible just kicked in. Oh, ow. Uh, uh, he talks like Richard Pryor now. <laughs> Mike Lawrence, what do you think? That was a Jewish miracle because it was one round, but it felt like it lasted for eight. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I got to give it to Louis. Louis, Louis gets was two votes. Shit. Ron Bennington, what do you think? Uh, well, Louis said something during a roast. I mean no disrespect there. It was a fucking amazing line that we probably should have heard all night. I'm giving it to Noah. <laughs> Noah takes it in Ron Bennington's mind. <laughs> Robert Kelly, I'm 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 giving it to Louis. I want to go home. <laughs> Louis Katz takes the battle. Clap it up. Final thoughts, Rich Voss. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, my CD goes up for pre-sale this Thursday on iTunes. Rich Voss Five. It comes out next week. Everybody was great tonight. This panel was fucking. On fire. Yeah, the Thank best, Thank you guys. for having me. You guys were all great. Guys, clap it up for all your judges tonight. Rich Voss, Robert Kelly, Ron Bennington, Mike Lawrence, Big J Okerson. Clap it up for DJ Isis. Give him some love. 
Clap it up for all the battlers you saw, guys. And come back in two weeks. Two more weeks, guys. We have the finals. Roastmasters, thank you so much for being a part of it. They're going to start handing out your bills right now as well, guys. Do me a favor, guys. Pay your bills at your table. They will bring your change to your table. Don't try to get up and find your waitress. That makes things a lot more confusing. And that's that. All right, we're done. Good night. <laughs>